you are about to embark on a fully immersive paranormal experience. Tonight, we investigate one of Australia's most haunted places in 360 degrees. Welcome to the St. John Cemetery in Kapunda, South Australia, a place where many reports of the paranormal exist. Make sure to stay alert, leave comments when you notice something odd, and scroll around the screen to fully explore the environment. You never know when something could be sneaking up behind you. Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. We are in one of the most haunted cemeteries in the whole of Australia tonight to conduct a 360 paranormal investigation. You guys really seem to like this immersive kind of investigation experience uh, in my past 360 videos, so I thought why not bring you to one of my favorite haunted locations. If you guys haven't watched a video like this before, start moving your device around or using your finger to swipe. You can even use your remote control on some TVs to kind of look all around around you and you can do this throughout the whole video but we're going to explore a lot of the cemetery today and tonight we'll be reaching out and conducting a paranormal investigation so stay tuned. Kapunda is a small country town outside of Adelaide in South Australia. Many people consider it to be one of the most haunted places in the country with St John's Cemetery being particularly active. Many legends and ghost stories surround this aging burial ground, which has led to its notoriety in the paranormal community. Late at night, in this cemetery, people have claimed to sight visual anomalies, including women walking amongst the graves, dimly lit by the lantern that they are holding before suddenly disappearing. Others have also encountered a tall, dark, imposing shadow figure, whom some speculate could be the spirit of a priest. A lot of unexplainable sounds have been heard within the cemetery too. Many have heard footsteps moving through the gravel around them, voices emanating from nowhere, and most disturbingly, the sounds of babies crying along the fence line where a number of unmarked babies' graves exist. Tonight, we will attempt to communicate with the spirits of Kapunda using an array of paranormal investigation techniques. It is your job to observe and listen for evidence you can share in the comments of this video. Will we manage to uncover the secrets of this haunted cemetery? All right, Crypt Keepers, we are back in the dead of night now and it's super, super dark here. So I don't think that you guys are gonna see a whole lot, but I've positioned you <laughs> in a good spot where you can kind of scroll around and you'll be able to see some of the graves and oh my gosh i i mean if you guys haven't done so already i actually filmed a while ago a two-part video series and i talk about the vibe of this place at night and it's totally different to what it feels like in the day the atmosphere it just feels so so different but i'm going to take you guys around to a few of the hot spots in the cemetery and we'll reach out Hopefully we can get some activity from the spirits. Uh, there's also a couple of spirits that would be interesting for this 360 experience. We have like a tall, dark shadow figure, so a male spirit. And then we also have a couple of females who have been seen here a lot, a couple of apparitions, which imagine if we caught something on, on the 360 camera. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open look around and hopefully we can pick up some evidence tonight. All right guys, so I've just moved to an area of the cemetery where in, in my previous episodes, we picked up on a bit of activity. And if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. We actually had almost like a fluid conversation through the ghost tube app. It was really bizarre and really, really cool. So I've come back to this exact area and I'm just gonna set some stuff up. Feel free to scroll around. I know it's super dark and we don't have enough light to really light up this whole place. Um, but we're doing our best. I'm gonna set up some of these uh, things. These are cat balls. If you guys watch my channel, you know these already. Basically, if these things are physically moved, they'll light up. So it's gonna be interesting if we see some of these light up. 
and I pop them on the ground. So definitely you can scroll around and kind of find these, watch them. I also want to run the ghost tube app as I mentioned earlier we kind of picked up uh, some kind of interesting responses with it so why not try it again I'm just filming Amy with this camera for sound because it's got a better mic on it yeah the sound on the 360 mic's a bit shitty <laughs> and it wouldn't have a windbreak anyway or you know yeah. All right. Well, this is recording now, so I'm actually going to chuck this on the floor here. And it's on the floor because we <laughs> we found out that if it goes near these fence thingies, this actually triggers the electromagnetic reader to spike, which is a bit crazy. But there's something in there that has magnetic properties. So let's reach out, guys. Hi, my name is Amy and I've come here with Jared tonight and all of our friends, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> if there are any spirits, any entities, board. any people. Does that say bored? Bored? I, I can't see properly. I hope you guys aren't bored. Board. Did it say bored again? No way. It hasn't got a word on it. It's weird. I hope you guys That's aren't bored. Weird. I'm so sorry if you're bored. <laughs> oh, they were having fun with us before. Yeah. Last time. Goodbye. Who's... Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, okay. This is going to be like the worst episode ever. <laughs> Short episode. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? And why, why are you leaving? Come back. Oh, that okay. capital's going off. Maybe that's them leaving. In front of you. Yes, that is right in front of me. That's where the crypt keepers are. Yeah. Are the goat, is the ghost standing right where the crypt, where the uh, 360 cam is? Imagine you guys that. might be right where the spirit there's is. A, yeah, there's a ghost. You're inside of it. <laughs> Can you touch one of those other balls on the floor? When you touch them, they light up flashing colours. And if possible, we would love to know your name. It would be amazing just to know who we're talking to. In front of you. I can't believe it's saying the same things twice in a row. Okay guys, so where you, you are positioned, where you're watching from, where you're standing, the 360 camera is in front of both Jared and I. Maybe you're interesting to the spirits, I don't know. If you're curious to know what is in front of us, or maybe that's where you're standing, I'm not sure. But in front of us is a camera. And we've brought this along to try and talk to you. This might be a way that you can show yourself to us maybe you can talk if you say something really loud then we might be able to hear you maybe it was referring to the graves that are in front of us that is actually a very good point Jared I'm just thinking like right in front of me also, when it said in front of you the first time, I was like, okay, what's in front of me? And that cat ball started to go off. So that was yeah. weird, huh? Yeah, it was. Please, if, if you guys are looking around as well and you see anything or notice anything that's weird, leave a comment. I know the last um, 360 video that I published, I got so many comments about so many things that I did not see while I was editing or anything so 
And you guys can watch it a couple of times and keep kind of looking around you, you know. This is our first time filming 360 outside. Yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're experimenting with the light. We didn't ex anticipate it would be this dark. Well, we knew it would be dark, but yeah. we weren't sure how the light would reflect off of objects. Into the camera and, and what the camera would pick up. Because yeah. at, at that other haunted house we did, that seemed quite bright from memory, didn't it? Yeah, but I had walls, so it yeah. was like the light could kind of bounce off thing. This is like darkness. The light is just getting sucked out, like to know. It's been a bit quiet now. You know what is so weird though? It's like you get things boom, 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 and then nothing, and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy that we got things because if you do go back and watch my other videos, the very first ghost tube session that we did here, we got absolutely nothing, nothing. And then it was just this one area where it really- Not. <laughs> Not? It's weird that it's all going off in this one area. Yeah. Yeah, it's like right here is a spot. Can you tell me your name please? Are you a member of the Rogers family? Just to demonstrate um, one of the features of Ghost Tube as well, if you go near the device like this, it'll make a noise, it'll detect it, so I won't touch the device, but if I go near it, It's got an infrared light in it and it detects my hand going near the phone. <laughs> what? Little self promo. <laughs> Jared Jared built this up, it's like his baby. You um your face is gonna look all shadowed because you're holding that camera right oh, in front of it. You did that during the intro with your hands too. Oh damn it. Sorry if this is I don't know. We're trying guys. We're trying to do new things. It's gone quiet now. Yeah. Should we go to another spot? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna take you guys to like another kind of hot spot. So let's go. All right guys, so I've just moved you to another part of the cemetery. There's not as much to look at around here because we're sitting right on the, the fence line of the cemetery, but there is this mural here to my left. And um, this is just paying tribute to all the unknown infants and babies that are buried here at the cemetery, which it's so so sad um another of the creepy kind of ghost stories uh that centers here is people have reported to hear babies crying here in the dead of night so i mean we always have potential to pick up on evps i don't know if we have in my other episodes yet or you know or this one but i've got a few devices set up so we've got um k2 i've got cat balls around me because we're dealing with kids so I've got one well one here which I can reach one over there and then one near Jared so if they're moved at all then we will know about it you guys should be able to see it if this lights up then it could indicate the presence of a spirit I've also got the my favorite thermal camera. Jared's favorite the thermal camera he friggin loves that thing so much so I mean, I was saying before that it is kind of difficult to reach out to a baby and try and talk talk to a baby. I mean, I could sit here and go goo goo gaga or something, but I'm not really going to get a response. So one of the things that I've brought along, it's almost like a trigger object. You might have seen it on my, my channel already. I have used it. Is a small little metal music box and these things are really cool i think they're really really cute so i'm just gonna play it and um see if that sparks any interest from the spirits maybe they'll be drawn to the sound and like it and kind of come around us join if there is anyone here and you want to join in feel free to join in come sit in our circle with us we're very friendly we we want to come here to play so that goes for any kids, <laughs> any adults here. Let's play some tunes. You look freaky on this thermal cam. Why do I look freaky for? Because just 
You just all lit up, like you're the warmest thing here. It's so cold here, guys, tonight. It is free. So, I'm surprised I'm even warm. So hang on, before you before you. Are my hands planet, like so ice cold? <laughs> it says you're 12 degrees, but then it's my it's below zero around us. It's so friggin' cold tonight. I don't know how accurate. This I can't thing, even so. feel my hands. Yeah. But okay, let's just do this. Whoa. What? All the toys are going warmer. They're all turning blue. Or is that colder? That's cold. All the toys just went all blue, like all the toys that are sitting in front of that thing. That's weird. I'll play the music again then. You know, cold, cold drops, people believe, could indicate the presence of a spirit. I don't think I could get colder though. <laughs> It is really cold though. Would anyone like to join our circle? <gasps> Shit. That ball just went off. I thought, just before that went off, I thought I heard a whistle. You didn't whistle, did you? No. Am I losing my mind? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard someone whistle. I just seen you looking at me weird and then that cat ball <laughs> went off. Interesting that cat ball's gone off and you think that you seen the toys change colour. Well they did on this. I think they're just really cold compared to that thing, but the colours adjusted on this and they just oh, all of a sudden went really blue. Cold. Yeah. Okay. If there's someone here and you moved that ball, can you do it again? We also have two other balls over here. I mean, someone's sitting next to me just here. You just patted them on the head. <laughs> that's like to great. Don't stroke them. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's weird. That's just, you know, like pat on the head. Yeah. The meter on a ghost tube on my phone. I might just play this one more time. Can I get a ghost tube going while you do that? Sure thing. Hang on a second, let me put it on mine. My phone doesn't have the um I thought I just heard a dog. Yeah, I think I heard a dog too. It's weird because we're in the middle of like nowhere. There are some farms around. Could yeah. be a farm dog. It's so sweet that people have left all these toys here. Mm. Hear the bats. Yeah. Wonder if you'll hear that on the uh, camera. Probably. Who 
feel free to touch these balls. This one's not going up again anymore. I'm gonna stop this guy's too. Yeah. So I think I might wrap this one up as well. My head is gonna split open. Yeah, I've got a splitting headache. Thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. I do hope that you enjoyed this 360 experience. We are still kind of experimenting with this type of video, but if you guys did enjoy this, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I definitely want to know your thoughts on the 360, especially on the evidence that we captured here tonight, because we've got some pretty interesting things and I can't wait to review the evidence. If you want to do a little bit more reading on this place or any of the other haunted places from around the world I've visited, then head to my website, Amy's Crypt com you guys can also follow me at amy's crypt on facebook twitter and instagram thanks for watching crypt keepers until next time